Welcome to your astrology and spirituality overview for Saturday the 15th of August. Thank you so much and I see Elisa that you've grabbed my favourite cards today. Yes, these are the uh, Tarot de Marcel cards that we use on the website. So if uh, anyone does want to check out their free three card tarot reading, these are the cards that are used in those spreads. So, Can you just tell me, we went to the municipal tip earlier to, to clear out some stuff from the house and I said to Elisa that I saw a playing card there and it was the Queen of... It was the Queen of Clubs, so that would be Wands. Um, often if you do see a playing card on the floor, it can have a spiritual meaning. Um, tarot cards really were used as playing cards when they first were created. And is it true that some spiritual advisors still use playing cards rather yeah. than tarot? Yeah, there are people on online that will use um, playing cards to, to use as a spiritual development tool or, a, uh, you know, a forecasting tool. So what did that particular card represent that I saw? So the Queen of Wands is very much about uh, fire, passion, initiation, warmth. If it represents a person, it's usually somebody who's quite a warm person, um, a fire sign, someone who can really um, help you in terms of business or finance. Um, but if it doesn't represent a person, then it can very often just mean that creative juices are really flowing. So that was a great card for you to well, find. it makes me think of yourself being a Sagittarius. Oh, I think I'm nearly the Queen of Wands. I, I still identify as the Page of Wands quite a lot. That's my one of my favourite cards, the Page of Wands. So, shall we see what comes up for us yes. today? This will be really interesting. Ooh, okay. So wow. the card that comes up here is a major arcana card and it is the Empress. The Empress is very much about feeling full, feeling fertile, abundant with ideas, uh, with luxuries, with love. Can this also be about pregnancy? It can be about pregnancy. It can be news about a birth or um, a new business. Or a new business. So we could expect some good news in, in some way or a telephone call from someone to say, I'm expecting or a telephone call to say, you know, I'm starting a new business. So it's a really jolly, uplifting, happy card uh, to come up for us. That's fabulous. I really enjoyed that. Now, the astrology continues to see quite a complex skyscape. We know that we've got Mars, the planet of drive, initiation in its home zone of Aries, which is through to the 6th of January. We also know that we've got the Sun in the sign of Leo in its home zone, and those two are in a perfect trine. So that's a terrific, very enabling energy. And of course, because of the fire element, it's about things moving. It's about a dramatic, uh, dynamic uh, change potentially. But we also have Pluto squaring up with Mars still, but also in a quincunx or quincunx with the sun. And that's at a 150 degree angle. Now, when the sun is in a quincunx with Pluto, particularly in a natal horoscope, it can give someone a kind of awesome power that other people can be a bit fearful of. A famous person who has the sun quincunx uh, Pluto is Nigel Farage. So you have someone who always seems to be like a bit of an outsider because the Pluto influences the underworld or someone who's quite good at plotting and, and being quite crafty. Um, so what's happening with Pluto is in a, a challenging angle with Mars. So someone could use their power in a less than positive way. So that could be in an international context. You know, we could have uh, someone who's imposing their will over citizens mm -hmm. in a more ruthless way. Mm -hmm. Or it could be that we just encounter someone who's a kind of might is right type character and sees the main chance, doesn't really care too much about uh, the mores and morals of a situation, they just go for it. So if you do find someone tries to dominate you against your better judgment or your basic values, push back. But at the same time, we can still make progress through that glorious link between Mars and the Sun. So maybe the Empress is the pushback against those uh, domineering characters. Well, maybe a female with. person or female energy, which is, tends to be more holistic, mm -hmm. doesn't just get caught up in the ambition, 
doesn't mean to say women can't have ambition, but tend to see have a more global view of situations, mm. a more holistic ability to see things in the round can be a force for good to try to diffuse some of the negative energy that Mars square in Pluto and the sun in quincunx with uh, Pluto can have. Wow. Brilliant. If you would like to have a one-to-one -one live personal consultation with Patrick, you can find out how to do so in um, the link in the description box beneath this video. Oh, thank you so much. Please check out my testimonials. It's a great honour to do a reading uh, for someone and it's it's something that, that is, is really at the core of, of what I uh, like to do because it's more serious astrology and it really, I hope, can help people to make better choices in their lives. So for now, if you would like to grab your free daily horoscope, please see that below. Or check out Elisa's Glorious 3, 3 card tarot using these wonderful uh, ancient cards. Uh, but for now, have a wonderful day. And it's from... The A-Team. It's goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from us both. <laughs> goodbye. goodbye.